instead of just adding a euro section at the top that is your standard euro section with some text, you can really blow it up by making it a full height euro section like this and really draw in the visitor to your site and give them a great idea of what your site is about. This is done by setting your section to full height. Hello and welcome to Websites for Beginners. My name is JP and in this tutorial, we're looking at how you can use stackable add-on for Gutenberg WordPress editor. And with that, create this Euro section that is at full height. To do this and create this full height section block with stackable in the Gutenberg editor, you of course need to bring in your content. Always be cognizant of the fact that stackable has an interesting naming convention for its container. They call it columns. If we go to the blocks and we look for it, you're going to find it simply by typing in columns. The columns actually comes within a container of its own. And when you want to apply this full height, you have to make sure that you are selecting the main, the big honcho container. I'll click on the text and then here in the toolbar with this one on the far left, you can always move one level up. And if I select that, you may think that you have selected the column, but in fact, you are selecting the inner column, which in this case is a single column. And we can go to the list view here and just unfurl all of this. And you will see we have the columns, then the inner column, and the one we want to work with is the column. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go and make this a full height. On the right from the inspector, we go to layout, block size and spacing, and go to minimum height. Here you have an option for pixels and viewport height. To achieve this full height, we need to put it on viewport height. Viewport height is all the top in your browser from here to here, and that is the viewport of your browser. And we measure that kind of similar to percentage in 100 means 100 viewport height is 100% of your screen real estate within the browser. So to get that then at 100, you simply go ahead and type in 100 and it's going to stretch it immediately to the viewport height as the user will view it when they come to your site. To just get everything to align nicely, let's select the column again, the main column, and then just under minimum height, you go to content vertical align and you select this one to put it in the center. And that's as simple as that. From here, always very important that you go and check responsiveness. Now you may say, hey, but I like it on full height for my section. I want to keep it like that. I'm not always sure, it's a personal preference, whether it should be full height on a tablet. Let's select our little responsive selector here and we go to tablet. The reason I say that is that I think a tablet takes far more movement with your finger and your hand to move things. Whereas when you're on a desktop, it's just a little click and a scroll on the wheel of your mouse. And I want to draw in my visitor quicker. Again, I say this is a personal preference. So what I will do in this case is I will reduce it. I can use pixels and remember this is a minimum height. So if your content is bigger than the minimum height, it will not squash your content. I'll give you an example. Let's go to the pixels and I put it on something ridiculous as 10. It's not gonna go smaller than that. I've applied padding here at the top and the bottom and we have the content here. So it's always going to be your content at a minimum. Grab the slider and drag it to the right and you'll see once we get to over 400 or 500, it should start moving. There we go. And now this will be your new height for it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for viewport height, but I'll put it on 50, which is going to be 50%. That's what I like for my tablet. You can even just squeeze it a little bit. Let's go for 75, give it a little bit, something bigger there. Then same for our cell phone. Cell phone, mm, this is your call, whether you want it at full viewport height or whether you just want it at a percentage. I'll go to viewport height again, and you will see it inherits the previous setting, the one, one layer up, which is your tablet of 75. Let's make this 100 and I'll drag it all the way up. And now we have it like so. And let's have a look at how this is going to display on the different devices. On my iPhone and my Galaxy, very nicely done. I could add a little bit of padding on the left and right just to give it a little bit more of structure and boxing it in. Maybe even play around with the size of the wedding photography heading. 
on my tablet, you can see we have space here at the bottom. Even this footer at the bottom is coming in. I don't have any other content on it. And then once we go to our desktop devices, MacBook Air, here we have a normal HD. And then we have an iMac Retina 27 inch. You can see beautiful when it goes to that full height. Give us a big like for this video. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.